Yo, what's up, everybody? This your man, Chris Thorns. Um, on this one, I'm going to cut out the intro music. Um, got another video that I want to do for y'all. Um, let me switch over. Uh, I was sent this story in the group um, around Christmas time, but just ain't had no uh, chance to get around um, to it. Um this is a sad and tragic story. Uh, I'm going to do some research and see can I get an update on it. Uh, but other than that, though, let me um, play for y'all uh, what I got so far. State has shown that the deaths were suspicious and they are the result of a homicide. The manner and motive for the crime is not going to be released at this time as it may harm our investigative process, but I can say um, that we are treating it as a homicide. The four deceased persons in the apartment ranged in age from five years of age to 36 years of age. The victims were a boy, 11 years of age, a girl, five years of age, and two adult female, ages 22 and 36. There was a relationship between the two adults and the children um, were the uh, children of one of the females. So it was a mother and her two children and then another relative. That's correct. Okay. I don't need to speak about the, the horrific events that took place in that apartment, especially dealing with children, appealing to anyone in the community that would have any knowledge of what may have transpired there to contact us as soon as possible. You know, we would certainly advise any, any members of the public to remain vigilant. Uh, but we again, we do not believe this was a random act. <sighs> yeah, um, fucked up. Um, so let me see if I can read to y'all. Um, what happened and also I will uh, post a link to this in the description box um, if y'all want to see the story uh, for yourself um, let me see something real quick because uh, As you see what it says right here, uh, police had identified the five-year-old girl, 11-year-old boy, and the same says couple found dead in the upstate New York apartment in a killing described by the police chief as savagery. The slain children were Shanice Maya, five, and her brother Jeremiah Myers, 11. Detroit Police Department said today, and to go to beautiful little girl, and go to little boy, um, the children's mother, Shante Myers, 36, who was also killed, as well as Brandy Mills, 22. Let me go back over here. The mother was in a relationship with this, with, a, with another woman, but that's not even the issue right now. They was found... Uh, early Tuesday afternoon in the basement apartment about eight miles outside of Albany, uh, the police said. Um, y'all know what? Fuck it. Uh, I just put the link in the description box and uh, y'all go see it for yourself. I, I, I'm getting nauseated, kind of like reading it or whatnot. But let me say this right here. Um, it's a now you heard the guy say he said he really don't want to say it's a hate crime because he said oh, this is going to um, probably interfere with the investigation which I don't know what the hell he mean about what he mean by that you know I mean it is 
what it is. You know, it sounds like to me, maybe it is a hate crime. But, you know, I mean, I could be wrong. But that's what it sounds like. It's a hate crime. You know, usually we got something to do with saying says cover. You know, a lot of people don't like that. And they do perform hate crimes on people who are in that kind of relationship and who are in that kind of environment. You know, people look down on it and they hurt the people who are involved in it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not really down with all the gay lesbian thing or whatnot, but I'm like this, you know, hey, let a person live their life. You understand? If this is how they want to live their life, let them live it. You know, they not doing me no harm. It's not hurting me. You know, it's not taking money out of my pocket. It's not taking food out of my house. It's not doing anything. You know, if them folks are happy with each other, let them folks be happy. Because I'm going to say this right here, and it's going to be fucked up what I'm about to say. You see more gay couples happy, more happy than straight couples. Somebody tell me I'm lying. You are seeing more gay couples happier than straight couples or straight marriages. I bullshit you not. Seen a video somebody posted in my group, and I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find it too. Yeah, the young young man, um, they was in a disco club or some shit like that, and uh, he got down on his knees and proposed to another dude. And at first, I was like, "What the fuck?" And then somebody else came behind me, come in and said, uh, "Well, you gotta look at it like this. They look more happy than heterosexual couples." I had to think about that. He absolutely right. They are. They look way more happy than heterosexual couples now. Heterosexual couples just fucks up everything now. You got people fucking other people. You got people finding out they spouse is gay. You got uh, uh, the men finding out they females uh, diagnosed up bisexual. They, uh, the men going out fucking getting other women pregnant. There were females out there fucking getting pregnant by other niggas. I mean, it, th just think about that. But a gay couple ain't just really got to go through all that. What if it's two women... They can agree to have somebody fuck them so they can get pregnant. So it, it won't be no disturbance. They will agree to do that. Or they go to the sperm bank and interject some of that shit up in them so they can have a baby. So he made that comment. I mean, he's absolutely right. I hate to say it too, but you are seeing more gay couples happy than heterosexual couples. Hell, you got heterosexual couples now. Marriage don't even last a year. Think about that. You got heterosexual couples right now, relationship, marriage don't even last a fucking year. And I think that's a goddamn shame. And like I always say, it's a damn shame for me to be with somebody that long, turn around and get engaged, then turn around and get married, and then the shit just goes sunk. I think that's a terrible thing to waste your life on. That's the case, I just should've just remained boyfriend and girlfriend, in my opinion. I should've just remained boyfriend and girlfriend if this shit gonna go down like that. So, by me saying that and by you seeing this for yourself, and I think a lot of people hate that, that a lot of gay couples are being are more happy than heterosexual couples, so it costs them to do hate shit. Other than the fact that a lot of them just being dicks and just performing hate crimes on individuals just because they just don't like it. You understand? But this is just an assumption that I'm making. You know, I don't know. I'll have to look for an update. Or if y'all can help me out, you know, you can find an update to this story. Email it to me. And I promise you, I'll come and do an update on it. Because somebody posted this in my group. Uh, this happened around Christmas time. As a matter of fact, it looked like, looked like it happened the day after Christmas. What a way to have the holidays end. But why the kids? Why? Seriously, why the kids? I guess they don't want to leave no witness behind. I don't know, y'all. But again, I got to say this, like I always say. These innocent babies died. I am so glad I don't have a child of my own. Seriously, because somebody killed my child. They're going to have to kill me. They're going to have to kill me. Because I'm going to get to them first. I'm trying my best to get to them first. It's about to harm my child. So it's a good thing that I don't have any children. It's a good thing that I don't. Um, I don't know, y'all. This this just really sad. And, um, and the same thing about it. I haven't heard no outrage about this story. Nope, I haven't heard no outrage. 
I ever heard no cry. I ain't heard nobody talking about they gonna try to go find them and fuck with their life or none of that shit. I ain't heard nobody say anything about this story. Not saying that they haven't, but I haven't seen nobody holler. I haven't seen nobody do this story. Well, at least not on YouTube, I haven't. I mean, nah, not even YouTube anywhere. I haven't heard nobody talk about this story. This shit like this need to be talked about. But instead, you know what I'm saying, we around here fuck with everybody else. Getting folks shit flagged down. Fuck with folks' personal life. Got folks riding past folks' house and shit. All because of social media. All because of social media, which is social media is big enough for everybody. Social media is big enough for everybody. So I don't even know why we sitting up there even playing these gangster games over social media. But you know, hey, they're just the way of the world. You know, hey, I mean, if they like it, I don't love it. But if they like it, I don't love it. But you know, it's just, it's just the name of the game that we in. It's the name of the game that we in, I guess, you know. So uh, that's why I keep to myself. That's why I'm trying to stay in my lane, you know what I'm saying? Do my own shit, do my own content. You like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. I'm still do what I do. I'm not over here trying to fuck with other YouTubers. I'm not over here, you know what I'm saying, uh, talking about they sucking dick. Or I'm, I'm not over here attacking nobody the children. I'm not doing none of this shit. I'm standing in my fucking lane and trying to expand myself. And I'm hooking up with the right people and I'm expanding myself. But, you know, all this fuck shit, man. You know, hey, I'll probably listen to it, man, but participate in it. No, I'm not going particip to participate in that dumb shit. Seriously, I'm not going to participate in that dumb, dumb shit because... Shit like that. Y'all see now, a lot of people taking this shit serious now where they actually going to where people at and start fucking with them. People are getting so upset about what's going on on social media, about the wrong thing, but they getting so upset that people are literally dying over this shit now. They literally dying over this shit now. People are actually coming to your hometown and killing people over social media. And who to say? This story could have had something to do with it too. Who knows? I don't know. I just don't know. I'm only going by what little I read and the little video that I played for y'all. But again, like I say, any of y'all who got an update to this story, you know, uh, hit me out. If you find it, hey, email it to me. Or post a link in the comment section. But before I go, I want to reach out this, uh, this meme that I found for Dr. Martin Luther King. It's ironic I find it because his birthday can come Monday. And this is true what he's saying. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And I agree. But the sad thing about it is we got more hate now than we got love. We got more hate now than we got love for each other. And it shouldn't be like that, but unfortunately, that's what it is now. Unfortunately, that's what it is now. But at the end of the day, I want to say rest in peace to everybody who's in this tragic incident, especially to them little kids. Them kids was innocent. Um, rest in peace to every last one of them. And uh, hey, I just hope justice gets served. And as always, y'all, take care of yourself and each other. I'll catch y'all next video. Catch y'all next stream. Um, and then, and if, and if, and if, and if we, we, if we can help it, just like my man Huggy P started this thing, and people's in my chat room saying it yesterday, unity, unity. That's what we lacking, unity. Peace out.